uh, let's talk about uh, permissions uh, and uh, specifically about permissions in a particular project how to add and remove applications to a project and how to give different people in your project access to different applications by default all the people in invited into projects they have access to all applications available but <coughs> you can obviously change it fredcam has very powerful permission system so you can you can do both you can set users to access only particular parts of the projects and you can give them specific permission so to users one of them is project admin ha having access to tasks application can do pretty much everything and another user who is also having access to task application can be only guest which means he cannot change any data in tasks he can only or she can only post comments and attach files or it may be just a guest user who can see only tasks application in a project cannot see, cannot see discussions or calendar files and uh, be read only user so can only see tasks and can only subscribe to get notifications on updates and other parts of the projects will be invisible to that user so to start you need to go to manage system uh, then navigate to project group and click on a project here in my demo account i have access to enterprise plan so pretty much you can see all available project applications you can install by default tasks discussions calendar files will be added to every project on every plan and you can add milestones available on the free plan you can add time tracking available on on the free plan as well and then some other applications like issue tracker overview or wikis uh, they are only available on our paid plans so if you are not on that plan you will not see these applications so adding and removing applications is very easy so if you don't want to use issue tracker you can switch it off or you can switch it on and when you switch it on all teams in your projects will have access to it and this uh, icons they relate to the teams and people are added to the teams uh, when you're looking through the through your setup you can just hover over your teams and you can see people in those teams which relate to this list in here by default we create uh, one team for each profile so you have team for pro users called team player you have team for project administrators called organizer uh, you have team observer for read only users you have team guest with permission guest and you have contributor team with profile user so these security profiles are predefined and if you want to see uh, what what they mean you can just go to view legend and here you see all project level users admin pro user user guests and read only and here is a summary of all general actions and then you can click on each application and see what users can do uh, in those applications so if i want to see time or files uh, so we have admin pro user user guest and read only and it relates to pro user admin guest read only and user teams you can rename so if organizer doesn't make sense you want to call it project managers that's fine you can also create a team and you can call it stakeholders for example and you can say okay this will be just read only users and here you have a box which says add to all applications if you uncheck it this team will not be added to any application you have to do it manually if you check it it will be added to every application in your project let's do this way so now we have stakeholders we have exclamation mark which tells us the people added to this team they will not see anything inside this project because it's not 
added to any application. So, for example, we want to give stakeholders access to uh, our meetings. So we just add stakeholders and now people who will be invited to stakeholders team, they will have read only access to calendar because they are only uh, uh, they are only in uh, this is stakeholders team and there are no users yet but uh, once you start inviting people now you will have access to stakeholders team you can invite so it's perfectly fine to have two teams with read-only profile or two teams with pro user if you need to customize it and give stakeholders access to calendar only but you don't want to see your tasks time because maybe it's too much maybe you don't simply want them to be able to see it so this is a way how you add teams uh, to your applications and remove them uh, if you see teams which you probably will never use you can just remove a team from a project uh, just be aware if you remove a team from a project uh, these all people in this team also probably Fritcamp even will not allow you to do that until these people are actually removed from the team so to recap you can add and remove applications uh, you can add teams or remove teams and uh, people who are not part of the application the team which is not part of the application when they go to project they will not see that application at all so for example people invited to stakeholders when open this marketing project they will only see calendar they will not see all other parts of the project you can rename teams each team is always associated with security profile which is explained in view legend and you can rename teams and you can have teams uh, with the same permission level in the same project if you need the custom setup now let's talk about files application because you see there is no switch here files application is added to each and every project and it cannot be removed uh, why it's special because uh, you can upload files to files application you can create folders but also files application will allow people to see all the files attached to tasks discussions your calendar events to your issues etc so it's a reference point for all the files in the project uh, that's why it cannot be removed or added but when you add teams to files application it means that uh, you allow people to actually upload files directly by going to uh, file section in a project if we will remove a team let's let's try to experiment and uh, if assume that we will remove team player team from files so these people Dennis, Gary, Linda and Maria uh, they will still be able to go to files application but they will not be able to upload files directly into files application they will go to files they will see files attached to tasks discussions because team player team has access to these applications but they will not be able to upload files directly to 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 file section uh, let's let's put them back now if we will remove team player team from tasks they have access to file application now they can actually go to files and upload files but since they don't have access to tasks now they will not see files attached to tasks because they have access to discussions they will be able to see files attached to discussions because they have access to calendar they will be able to to, to see attached files attached to your events uh, they will also be able to see files attached to issue tracker but they will not be able to see files attached to tasks let's put them back And finally, if 
If you will imagine a team which has access to files, only application, they will be able to go to the project. In their project, it will be only files icon because they don't have access to any other applications. They will not be able to see files attached anywhere except files uploaded directly in files. So these are the options. And to recap it, uh, let me show you the diagram I prepared. Let's say Zoe is a project administrator and she's in a team which has access to all applications. It means when Zoe will go to files application, she will be able to find, find file attached to tasks, events, issues, wikis, discussions, pretty much everything, as well as files directly uploaded to files in your project. And if we, we will take as example another user Bob, and Bob was given access to tasks applications and files applications, but not to other. So what Bob will be able to do and see, he will be able to see tasks, files attached to tasks, files directly uploaded to the file section of the project, but he will not be able to see files attached to discussions, events, issues, and wikis if these applications uh, installed in that project. Now we will have X check Rosa and Rosa is a client and she was given access to tasks and discussions. When Rosa will go to the files, she will see files attached to tasks and discussions, but not all other applications. And Rosa will not be able to upload files directly into file section because Rosa wasn't given access to file application itself. And finally, let's, let's look into another setup. For example, Raj is a client and he was given access only to files application. So when Raj will go to files, he will not see any files attached anywhere, but only files directly uploaded to FreeCamp. And if you invite it as a read-only user and given access only to files, you can see only files uploaded directly to files application and you can only see them and download them. You cannot upload files because your profile is read only. And this is why files application is special. And this concludes my video. Thank you.